So with the incorporation of Poland to the Greater Reich, we can focus now on Lebensraum. I mean, once we do integrate these, then it should be very, very nice. I think we're at stage 2 of General Plan Ost, or stage 3. Uh, we just had the pacification of uh, the East anyway, so shouldn't be too long. Uh, things should start escalating. Um, I do need Finland in. That would be nice. Social Conservative Government. Hmm. Okay. Am I sending resources to my allies? Yeah, auto help allies. Okay. Ba bam 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 ba da da da. Right, what would my chances be of um, bringing this Spanish round? Not very high. I mean, that's it. I mean, we are so far from a social liberal government. Right, the French and British colonial empires are breaking down, though, so that's good. Right, there we go, airborne. I'll work on the... Right, there we go. Actually, we need the infantry. Um, no, logistics would be quite good, actually. We'll go with logistics, then. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Whew. Yeah, infantry supply consumption goes down, which is good. The USA have the eternal Cold War. See, I'd like to say that they may eventually give up. I think it may get to a point, uh, there might possibly be like an event in the future where they... Uh, sort of give up. We'll see. I mean, there's been a number of times that World War Three could have been initiated. So, we're just trying to bide our time. Increase time while we're at it. These upgrades are going to take a long time. Um, hmm. I'm going to keep this going because obviously the gear and bonus makes it quicker anyway. Right, we'll go towards Hawk Lobby. I could go towards Centralized Planning a little bit further, uh, which does increase resource production, which is very, very important. What do we have here then? The America Bomber. Ooh, wow. Their range increases quite significantly there. There we go, increases our total amount of IC too. The resource production is very important. Increases gear and bonus as well. Okay. Advanced stair carrier. And then, uh, what's after that then? Do we have super carriers or something else? I think super carriers might be a thing. Probably in secret. Or, well, no, it's a super carrier, so I guess that's, uh, yeah, ah, right, so it leads on to the nuclear carriers then. Okay. I can start to research this. Awesome. Uh, we'll do that after the silicon transistor. Should be good. Right, sent. Come down a little bit. Not massively. Mm 
Okay, Ghana. I mean, this is it. The uh, British are weakening. The French are obviously weakening. Yep, the 24th Panzer Division has been upgraded with E-75s, so basically Tiger Threes, which are freaking crazy powerful. Ah, the U-boat type XX-1, so the 21st. Ah, that increases their range, good. Um, yeah, I could definitely do with building uh, submarines too. Just in all honesty, increasing the size of the Kriegsmarine. Kriegsmarine. Because I mean, a lot of these ships are very old now and would be annihilated by a modern navy. Yeah. That's for damn sure. Uh, so the British aren't technically that powerful. They do have a lot of carriers, though. A few battleships. It's their air force, really, that I'd have to deal with. Right, let's look at the airborne assault, then. Right, there we go. Being held, um, able to have super fast units would be very, very nice. Because then we can actually use them to exploit and cut off forces. And uh, try to really repeat Barbarossa. I'm curious to see what would happen if I went with not now in uh, Barbarossa. We'll try it. I want to see what happens. We don't need this right now. Okay. I could invest in more defenses in the west. Uh, which might be worthwhile, considering that we may very well be invaded. And let's see. Uh, yeah, there's heavy fortifications on the coast. Or more or less on the coast. Uh, there we go, more infantry divisions. There we go. Nineteen fifty six. Uh, let's go for the nineteen fifty four infantry. Ryan Metal. Yeah, nineteen sixty two. I need that, uh, which needs the Air Assault Brigade, okay. Strategic Bomber, 1949. Then after this is done, we'll focus on upgrades. There we go, supercarriers. Yeah, missile destroyers. Hmm. Close in weapon systems. Corvettes, transports. I could do with transports in all honesty. Uh, missile corvettes. Frigates. Right. That's what I need. Armored box launch and anti-ship missile. I uh, can't get them for a while though. Uh, so for these we just need the destroyers. Hmm. Let's take a look at submarines then. Oh, actually no, we'll go with the new destroyers and then we'll... Um, 
start working on that. But let's see, we'll put some uh, carriers into production. So we have the super carriers. Oh, they look pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie, they look cool. They're damn expensive though. Start work on them. But once we have some super carriers, we can really begin work on improving the Greg's Marine. Uh, Greg's Marine. Uh, bringing it up to scratch. Because ultimately, I do need to be able to defeat the uh, United Kingdom's Navy. The US Navy, which is going to be absolutely colossal at this point, I'd imagine. And then obviously on top of that, the Japanese Navy. 27 battleships, 58 carriers, 58. Have you got enough carriers there, America? And then five carriers with the Japanese. God damn. That is a lot of carriers. There we go. Somebody could do with dealing with that. Right, they're almost done now. Ah. See, what's interesting is the fact that they're actually leaving the Alliance. Yeah, that's a lot of their territory gone. Portugal is fascist, actually. Yeah, the issue is our belligerence. It means that nobody's going to be coming to the Alliance with us. That's going to make uh, upgrading costs rise significantly. No? How come that one's behind? Why is that one so far behind? Right, there we go. At least that's 50 IC now available. Yep, there we go, Air Assault Brigade. Okay. Uh, E seventy fives. Airborne. Okay, I don't think they're a thing yet. They might be like a brigade attachment. Yeah, there we go. They're an attachment. Pretty powerful attachment. Okay, to bet. Uh, groups of opportunities calling themselves the Free Brothers. That's not good. Right. Now, I think this is part of China's uh, event path called like Rising Dragon or something like that. Uh, so basically, it will inevitably lead to China trying to reclaim its cause. Uh, we should spark conflict with the Soviet Union.
Right. Improved submarines now. Uh, do we have the full extent of that metal? It's getting there. It's almost there now. Which is probably why we're doing okay-ish on metal, perhaps. The thing is, they send us a certain amount of their resources no matter what, anyway. Now go have a new rally. Ah, Cyprus is broke free. I can't do it yet. Leaves hundreds in supplies? Uh... Okay. Right, I do think that some of these events are a little bit broken at the moment. Which is a shame, but obviously this is an early work. Nowhere near finished as of yet. I mean, obviously, if I went towards um, free market, these upgrades would be significantly easier. I kind of do need our belligerents to come down. Right, the wildcat strike. Elements of the labor aristocracy. Okay, make the leaders disappear. Uh, we'll go for that. Moves us towards open society a little bit more. Importantly, removes two descent. Rosenberg. Hmm. If I gain, uh, can gain, a well, India as an ally, that would be quite nice. No good, Panzers. It's the Panzers really taking up all the um, IC at the moment. Ah, Mechanized is going ahead too. There we go. 1961, however. Rather ahead of time. Ever so slightly. Nine to fifty five submarines. Is that the CCI class or the C? Yeah, that's like the CCI class. Lovely. Uh, air doctrines would be really quite important. I really disregarded air doctrine. There we go, that'll make our uh, aircraft even more effective. Hmm. Modern repair is about to be finished. Yep, there we go. Right on time. So we are able to upgrade the... Uh, we will upgrade the amount of... Um, anti-tank artillery we have to increase the hard attack of artillery. A lot of our units do have 
80, which is quite nice. Wow, they look pretty badass. They're not that powerful though at the moment. They do need to have, obviously, um, support elements. How goes their war? Don't imagine it'll take long now. For some reason they've not annexed them. There we go. Yeah, am I like missing something or do they just have to completely conquer them? How powerful is Italy then? Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Hmm. Right, that brings our doctrine up. Jesus. Right, artillery. Air assault division. Yes, yeah, so I can actually build them. Malta. To be honest, this is really good. I mean, it's making it far easier to actually... Um, there we go, Tibet's gone. Uh, it's making it far easier to actually face the United Kingdom, as I can just pretty much occupy the home island soon enough. And take them out that way. But I, China, has grown larger. Just need them to go to war with the Soviet Union now. It's going to happen inevitably. At least I'm hoping so. Now go upgrade their escorts. Their range, 800. Could do increase in that. Jack Tiger. Jesus. Look at that thing. Hmm. So great Antaya. Yep, increases our attack. I 
I mean, at the moment, everything's really uh, going towards trying to upgrade the Vermacht. Right, here we go. Can increase our industrial efficiency, which is going to make things a lot easier. Ah, the Sudan has broken free. Hmm. Yeah, it's like things like um, over here, Disaba. Uh, Disadiba. That's a really irritating victory point to gain. I am hoping that the General Oss plans are still going ahead. I wouldn't be quite happy if it uh, was a stock event, but we'll see. Could do with building more transports as well. Hmm. At least that's made things a little bit cheaper. Increases the speed at which we do things as well. I think we might head towards a free market to begin with. I oh, see so these will be in need of upgrades. Yeah, so many air doctrines. Oh no, there's still some resistance occupation. Ah, I don't have cores over here. Fair enough. Okay. Should I need somebody with uh, electronics? Ah, there we go. That's uh, really going to do it quite well. Increases the efficiency of our radar stations, which is quite nice. I may uh, have to look into modding this, or at least making this decision work somehow. Should be quite an easy fix, so if you guys have any idea how to find that, then do let me know down below, and I can do that. Otherwise, I'll just look it up and try and figure it out. But I think it's slowed down a little bit. I go earlier assault division. Let's take a look at production vents, see if we can build them. Yeah, look at those things. Those are badass. And their speed is fucking insane. So that's crazy. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, until next time, goodbye for now.